Hi VV fam, I hope you had a great Christmas. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about what edition sizes have recently come out and if they do actually matter on the VV app. So we did have the new Mickey Mouse set come out and they are pretty limited compared to the other ones. So I made this comparison table and you, as you can see, you've got the Steamboat Willie, then you've got the Band Leader Mickey and the Fantasia Mickey, followed by the latest brand new one. And these are all the highest rarities with Steamboat being secret rare, the Grand Finale being ultra rare, casting the spell secret rare and the new Mickey secret rare. But look at the addition sizes. They started off at 6,928 for the Steamboat and the Finale and then they went drop down to 1940 for the Fantasia one and now we're at 940 and the prices kind of reflect that apart from the steamboat which is always going to be a pretty much a grail Mickey Mouse because it's the first ever steamboat this grand finale one that doesn't really look the best to be honest that's why it's pretty cheap and the Fantasia one is so is it cheap I don't know 1940 that's a significant year for this Mickey Mouse and 190 and then this one the new ones I don't know like again at 940 there's even less of them but it is nearly double the price of the secret rare Fantasia you do get an airdrop though so I do think that this new Mickey Mouse will go down in value in the future if you want to wait sit on it for a bit and then buy it later because as soon as they give the airdrop out I'm sure that people will sell it off that just wanted the airdrop or for some quick money or whatever they want to do but on these the numbers just seem like it's like Vivi have turned around and said we've not got that many people on the platform so we've just catered to the ones that we do currently have that are sticking around in this bear market and on to the coke ones i mean look at the snow globes they've been out for over a year and the truck just dropped recently this christmas and it still hasn't really sold out but there is 3088 available and it's only 20 gems it was listing at 30 but look at the snow globes i mean the secret rare at 1886 i know that's a special number for coke 174 the prices just do not add up because you've got the coke truck which is similarly priced to these snow globes at rare value is 20 dollars, and there's like double nearly over a lot over double the amount of them available and the common one there's heaps of them there's nearly 14,000 of them it's like I just feel like buying three of these coke trucks is so much beneficial I personally don't own this coke truck and it's something on my list that I do want to buy but there's so much stuff on Vivi at the moment that I do want to buy I just wanted to talk about the numbers really because the numbers are what the one that is like scarce and rare and so it's funny as well that Vivi have put like common rare and then the coke truck slides in as an ultra rare and then you've got the secret secret rare they are really thinking about it like David used proper like scrutinizing these ultra rares the numbers and everything so they are adjusting them as the way the world works and the way the world is changing should I say the way the world is changing David Yu is onto it and I mean let's be honest like 3088 coke trucks is not a lot just like the secret rare but I just see the coke truck being a lot cooler than the snow globes especially like in the VV verse if you've got like a garage full of cars I mean what who wouldn't want a big a massive like coke truck in your in your garage with your dealer in and your and your night rider and all them other cars and vehicles you can have the james bond motorcycle and everything like i just feel that a coke globe is a bit like uh, you just zoom it right out and have it dead small and i don't think it's that great of a collectible but that's just my honest that's just my personal view on it i mean people do collect those uh, snow globes they're just not really for me on to the star wars one i mean the star wars ones is look at these numbers you've got the rare obi-wan at 4088 and that's a first appearance and then you've got the Darth Vader's which are similarly an addition size to the Boba Fett's but you've got 11,000 nearly 12,000 of the commons and then you've got nearly 10,000 of the uncommons and then you've got 6,000 of the ultra rares compared to just 4,088 of the rare Obi-Wan's it makes the Obi-Wan look super limited and scarce well it, well it is super scarce and limited and the price really doesn't reflect that I mean is Darth Vader so much more of a stronger character than Obi-Wan probably he's probably more famous but Obi-Wan one for Star Wars fans, Obi Wan's huge. Like, and there's only 4,088 of them, and it's $45. It just doesn't really make sense to me at the moment. But I do see this massive opportunity here to buy the couple of these Obi Wans, just buy three of them, and then at least you've got a couple to sell in the future if they do start to pop off. I do feel the Darth Vader's are overpriced at the minute compared to the Obi Wan, and I would, I mean, they aren't overpriced because they're under retail, these two. So the uncommon and the common are under retail 
sale. They they sold it like 80 gems. So I mean, I do have a common and an uncommon Darth Vader, but that's only because they've been on the app longer. I do want to really want to get a rare Obi Wan. Like probably will get a couple of them to be honest. That's just what I'm doing. But I paid a lot more than 54. I got the uncommon on the drop, and then I bought a common for like 135 gems, I think, at the time. Unfortunately, I've never been able to buy it ultra rare because they were really expensive. They went up to like 3,000 gems at one point. Now they're like 540, so they've come down quite a lot if you're looking to get one of them at all. But again, look, this, this small amount of numbers and the Obi Wan, I do feel, is the steal to buy right now in this current market conditions. I mean, let us know what you think in the comments below. What have you been buying? Have you been stacking the Obi Wans? Have you been stacking the Darth Vaders or whatever? And now I'll go on to something else that I've been identifying. So I did do a full video on the Blue Tods because that was the last big purchase that I did buy in VV. And I do feel really bullish on it. I did pay 200 gems for it and now it's at 165. So I have lost money on it, but I'm not concerned in the slightest about spending 200 gems on a Blue Tod. Yeah, of course it can go a bit lower, but the numbers do not like add up to me because you've got a third of the addition size to the black and white one. I know this Todd is quite different because it's the first ever Batman drop, first ever VV drop as well. So it's kind of like significant historical piece. But again, the blue Todd, if, who's not going to want a blue Todd that I do believe looks better than the black Todd? And again, I've added the Rizzos because you've got secret rare and ultra rare. Secret rare is higher class than ultra rare, but and it's got less numbers. But look at the prices. I know the black and white stuff was first, so it's kind of hard to compare them. But when you look at the numbers and the secret rares, what VV give them a rarity, it really does make the uh, blue and yellow looks very undervalued or the black and white overvalued. I don't know what to say about it, really. Other than like, I just see so much opportunity in buying these digital collectibles, especially the ones that you like and sitting on them because like they're gonna, they've got a good chance of popping off in the future. If you want to go and check out my full length video, I'll leave a link in the top right hand corner. I mean, moving on though, I've got these four different collectibles and two of them have recently come out in the She-Hulk and the America Chavez and again they were both ultra rares at 1550 editions and they're both at exactly 24 gems which is quite funny really I mean well it's not really because I suppose they're both similar like level characters in the MCU and probably got the same amount of fan base and the same amount of VV people on here but again like look at the numbers they don't add up compared to like the Zombie Hunter Spider-Man which was 18,200 and a common that was last year though that one when it came out and it's the zombie edition but again like a similar price and I put in the Jim Lee blue and yellow Batman because he's got 3,000 editions which is just about double and um, he's selling for 35 gems and again it's the this rare common and all the ultra rares but what I wanted to point out was I like the new versions of these VV NFTs so they have the sound and the animated which again like who doesn't want this America Chavez this America Chavez looks so much better than the secret rare one and it's cheaper like I know there's less editions of the other one but obviously it looks so much better this one and it's like I just believe that there's so little numbers that you should be buying this one imagine if they did this as like an avatar like a ready player me sort of avatar which they could easily see them doing in the future I mean this is just my speculation but you could like walk around the Vivi versus America Chavez or She-Hulk but these ones aren't animated or have the sound so I don't know if those ones will become that I mean they probably will I mean they'll probably just be able to sort that out but again it's my speculation I feel the animated and the sound ones are definitely worth picking up but I mean America Chavez is really popular like like if you watch the recent Doctor Strange movie, the MCU was pushing her out as like a supporting lead actress. She was up there with Doctor Strange throughout the whole movie virtually. I do feel that she's going to be part of the Young Avengers and she's going to have a bright future in the MCU for at least the next 10 years. She-Hulk I'm not that bothered about to be honest. Obviously Spider-Man and Batman, you can't really compare them. It's like comparing apples and oranges and sort of that sort of thing. These two are just iconic superheroes that you can't really compare to the other two but I just threw them in because there's four different collectibles all under 40. 35 gems which you can go and get right now in the store because I do see like a lot of opportunity and another thing to point out is the America Chavez she hasn't even sold out so there's like just over a thousand editions sold so if like they don't sell because you can go and buy this for 24 and the drop price is like 50 gems then the rest of them will end up like being burnt if they don't sell out and I don't think they're going to sell out I mean they might do I might be surprised but then it's going to make it even more scarcer I just feel like there's a lot of opportunity in the VV market market right now for everyone that's why i've got to keep talking about it <laughs> i would love to know what you think like leave a comment on all what collectibles you've been stacking or collecting or whatever another thing good thing to do with your collectibles is just not just buy one but buy three like the obi-wan i plan to buy three 
because then when the time comes to sell them you easier to sell it like at least you can keep one to keep forever if you really want it and then you've got two to just basically play with and i think that's the way to do it like if you can afford it of course if not just i mean the thing with vv at the moment is there's just so much choice to go and spend your money on like you can go and collect disney you can go and collect stamps you can go and collect batman you can go and collect marvel like all sorts of things different like relics and chucky the dolls like dinosaur jurassic parks like harley quinn dc the disney stuff like do you just collect the disney stuff or the star wars because i believe those two are like ticking time bombs to explode in the future i'm spread out all over the place because that's just the way it is really and like but look like the mickey mouse lenticular cards are so many good like deals in the market right now for everyone to go out and buy that's what i believe even the marvel mighties i feel they're undervalued like they're so cheap as well just go and pick a couple of those up i mean i know i talk about vivi a lot on my channel i used to work as an nft advocator and i was around before the board apes were here and like i do love the web3 space there is so much opportunity so if you do like my kind of content please consider subscribing to help me out leave a like on the video leave a comment i'd love to talk to you in the comments i will cover other projects just because there is so much great things happening in the world of web3 but vivi i'm super super bullish on vivi because i've been involved in vivi for a long time and i've seen this grow to what it is to today literally since the first todds were in store and no one was buying them to what it's become today and it's like <sighs> It kind of blows my mind when I think about it, what it will become and what it can become or what potential it has got. Because out of all the other NFT projects out there, like most of them, I would say 98, 99% of them are going to go to zero. Look at all the crap in OpenSea. There's hardly anything that is really substantial other than the ones that are like gaming projects that people can use. And the majority of them, especially the P PFP avatars, they're just dog crap, really. <laughs> Compared to like buying the Disney, the Marvel, the all these kinds of brands, it just like doesn't make sense to me personally so that's my video everyone thanks for watching everyone i'll see you in the next one